Hi everyone, Bezat Hashem, tonight you're going to learn Parashat Ba'alotcha, one of the beautiful parashiot in Sefer Bamidbar. And one of the things in this parasha that the Torah tells us about Am Yisrael when they start to travel in the desert for 40 years, it came to Moshe Rabbeinu and they start to scream. Vaisu me'ar Hashem derech shloshet yamim. Vaharon brit Adonai nosea lifnem derech shloshet yamim. Vaasafsuf asher bekirbo itabu ta'ava vayishvu vayivku mi'a achilenu basar. Zacharnu ta daga asher nohal bemitzrayim chinam. Et ha'kishuim et ha'avatichim et ha'chatsiv et ha'betzalim et ha'shumim. Vata nafshenu yevesha en kol bilti elaman enenu. Am Yisrael start to scream to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. To Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe, we are all hungry. We don't have something to eat. This haman, this manna that we got from the sky is not enough. We used to remember that time that you used to eat the watermelon, kishuim, uh, good stuff in Egypt. And now we don't like this food anymore. Akadosh Baruch Hu, right away. וישמע משה את העם בוכה למשפחותיו וישפך את אוהלו ויחר אף אדוני מאוד ובנאמי משה רע. אין משה רבנו סטטוס קימטו הקדוש ברוך הוא מאין לי בשר לתת לכל העם הזה אנוכי הריתי את העם הזה עם אנוכי ילדתהו I'm the father, I'm the mother of this nation I don't know how to provide them all this food, all this meat what do you want from me exactly? as she said, what was the problem that עם ישראל start to complain that they miss that time that they used to eat in Egypt a different food and from watermelon and kishuim and all of that what was the problem when HaKadosh Baruch Hu got upset? Vayichar Af Hashem and Am Yisrael and after that HaKadosh Baruch Hu punished them Lo yom mechad tochlu basar velo chamishah mimad asher yitze mehabchem and then HaKadosh Baruch Hu what was the problem? I'm Israel, they're all hungry, millions of people, well, children, they're asking for food, for, for good food. What was the problem? And also, why Am Israel didn't satisfy with the man? What was the problem? The Gemara said, all the taste in the world, whatever they want to taste, they close their eyes, they want to taste ice cream, they want to taste uh, chocolate, they want to taste whatever, they got. So what, you missing this kishuim, this avatichim, uh, watermelon, what was the problem? This shumim, betzali, onion? That's what, you, what, that's what you asking from Hashem? It's not enough all the miracles that Hashem making for you. HaKadosh Baruch Hu give them the manna from the sky, it's not enough. Every morning they used to wake up and they used to wake up in the morning. They got like the, the dough from the sky and top of it the manna and on top of it the dough because it's not going to get to ruin or something like that, right? They got food, whatever they need. What was missing? And HaKadosh Baruch Hu got upset. Okay, you got for, you, you ask him for food, I'm going to give you food. Chazal said, why did HaKadosh Baruch Hu also didn't give him the man for long term? Every day he needs to give him again and again an, another, another amount of uh, mana, another, an, another food. Why did HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Midrash said, the mana for one day he was enough for 2,000 years. The amount of food that they got, the manna, it was enough for 2,000 years. So what did HaKadosh Baruch Hu need to give him? Every day, every morning, a different, different, different manna, different haman, he used to come every day. Why? Why HaKadosh Midrash said, you know what's the, the, the point of, uh, of the manna? Because Hashem wants to train the Am Yisrael was a lesson. Like Tony Robbins, the coaching lessons, right? 
It gives you like tips how to do with your life. The same thing, if you're not going to do anything about yourself, about your life, uh, and nothing going to work, and you're not going to improve yourself, the same thing HaKadosh Baruch wants to improve their emunah. After they went out from Egypt for 210 years, and they saw all the miracles, all the plagues, and Hashem opened the ocean. Still, they didn't believe in Hashem for 100%. So what, what was the problem? What's the, the, the message that Kadosh Baruch Hu wants to teach him? I wants to give you your food and every day you have to believe me that you're going to have it. Day later. But what the problem, what's the problem was in Am Israel? There is a mashal. There is a mashal. Kadosh Baruch Hu. The mashal there is a parable. Like a person... He was a rich guy, and his son wants to travel far away from the, the, his house. And he said, Abba, I need $10,000 and uh, you know, to open a new business and open a new page in my life. Or I would like to travel far away, and I need this amount of money. His father called him. He wrote him a check, $1,000. He said, Abba, are you kidding me? That's what you give me? I'm asking you $10,000. You're a million, billionaire. Well, it's nothing for you. He said, no, if I'm going to give you $10,000 or $20,000, you're not going to come here after two months or three months or something like that. I would like I want to see you every day. I want to give you a small amount of money, and then you can come every day to see me. The same thing like Kadosh Baruch Hu wants them to raise their eyes and to know that the Parnassah is everything from Hashem. But Am Israel, they start to complain to Kadosh Baruch Hu. We remember those fish that we used to eat for free in Egypt. You eat fish for free in Egypt? You eat chatzats, you eat. What do you eat? You eat nothing in Egypt. You used to suffer so much. What are you talking about? You're talking about food? You're talking about fish and watermelon? What are you talking about? Chinam, Rashi said, Chinam in a mitzvot. Shemevakshim alila. They just want to complain. It's like the Israeli people like to complain. Whatever they got, always complaining, right? Sometimes you, you, Hashem give you so much in your life. Instead of to look at the good things around you, what Hashem gives you, that even that you not deserve it. Hashem give you good health and good wife and kids and, and, and roof above your head. Why I don't have that? Why I don't have that? Why this one is not good? This one is not good. We like to complain. Not, that's why we don't appreciate what Hashem gives us, right? But the problem is more than that. Akadosh Baruch Hu don't like when we complain. When you complain to Akadosh Baruch Hu, which means that you don't appreciate what Hashem gives you and you don't believe that whatever Hashem is not giving you is not good for you, right? Otherwise, it was good for you. If you deserve it, Hashem will give it to you. Hashem loves you, loves us. More than any, any, anybody else in the world. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to train us, to give us a training, emunah training. A lot of people, you ask him, you have emunah in Hashem? You believe in Hashem? For sure, for sure we got emunah. And then they got trouble, and they got problem in the relationship, and shlom, no shlom bayit, and then they're waiting for shiduch, or you're waiting for panasah Where are you? Why you don't get take care of me? Where are you? We're asking a question. Emunah is not by talk. I have a munah, or even uh, a lot of people said, yeah, I love you. What is love? Love, show it, prove it. Yeah. Train yourself. Action. It's, it's action, exactly. It's exactly to see yourself that you believe in Hashem. You see how much you trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's like Rabbi Zusa, mi, 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 Rabbi Zusa used to say this story about this Eglon. And he came with all the Hasidim, he used to, to take him with the carriage every, 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 every time, once a Rosh Chodesh, to the big rabbi to get bracha. But he never come inside the rabbi to get bracha. Only the Hasidim used to come. And the Hasidim asked him, come on, your driver, come over, come, to get bracha from the rabbi. No, it's okay, it's not going to help me. One time, he agreed. He said, Rabbi, I need bracha for Panasa. He said, what do you schedule? He said, I wake up in the morning. I'm preparing my carriage, the, my horses, make sure that they, uh, they uh, be able to, to, to drive today. 
and I'm preparing myself, I need breakfast, and then I pray a little bit, and then I'm going and I'm looking for, for people, like Uber, Uber like Uber. So he used to, to have it. Rabbi said, why are you not coming for Shacharit in the morning? And then you can go. He said, no, maybe somebody will call me, somebody will want me, and then I'm going to miss it. He said, I, I want to tell you a story. There is a story about the person who used to travel a lot and he used to keep Shabbat. He make money, he makes some business, sell stuff. But before Shabbat, he makes sure that he's going in a place, in a city, that he's, he can keep Shabbat. One time he make a lot of money in this uh, month, in this season. And he looked for a place to, to stay in Shabbat. And he almost couldn't make it. Before Shabbat, he came to the shul. He said, Rabbi, listen, I have this uh, basket of money, coins, gold, uh, zahav, uh, silver, all of that. You can keep it for me until Matzah Shabbat. He said, yeah, for sure. Keep it. I'm going to keep it in my house. Let's go. Let's go to Mincha. Let's go to Kabbalat Shabbat. Let's go. All the Shabbat, he couldn't eat. He said, I can't believe it. I trust this rabbi. I can't believe it. Maybe the rabbi will take some. Maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know where is it. Where, where? He said, come on, take some salad. Say some sweet. He said, no, no, no. He didn't have any tavon. He barely eat in the morning. He said, rabbi, let's go to shul. They finished the shul. They finished Sudat Shabbat. All the Shabbat he was consumed. What's going to happen in my money? Motzei Shabbat, he asked the rabbi, Rabbi, where's my money? He said, wait, we're going to do Avdalah, and then I'm going to give you your money. Don't worry. After Avdalah, I said, where's my money? The rabbi took the, 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 the bronze, uh, uh, bronze, uh, nechoshet. Oh, the, yeah, the bronze, uh, the uh, 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 coins, and he gave it to him, and he gave it to him. Hmm. No, in the beginning, he gave him the gold coins. And he count one, two, three, four, sixteen gold, gold coins. And then he took the silver coins. He said, you see, twenty-four. He said, right. And then when he came to the bronze, uh, the, the the small coins, I said, well, where's the bronze? He said, are you serious? If I would, if I want to take something to myself, I will. I, I'm not gonna take from the small coins. I will take from the gold, right? If you see that nothing missing from the gold and from the silver, for sure, it's nothing missing from the bronze. From the other coins, why you don't trust me? The same thing he said. You believe in Hashem, that Hashem will provide you life. That you wake up in the morning for sure. You believe in Hashem that you have food on your table. You believe in Hashem. You believe in Hashem that nothing going to happen to you, right? But the Parnassah, you don't trust in Hashem. You have a question. It's like somebody came to the Havsach and he said, Rabbi, I would like to learn any kind of job, I'm in yeshiva, but I don't know how I can uh, uh, support my family after I get married. After and I need some profession. job to, to, to learn something, any mikzoa, profession. Exactly, profession. The rabbi said, no, ma pitom, you have to learn Torah, you have to believe in Hashem, Hashem will give you panasai. I said, Rabbi, no, you know the problem is today, the economy, it's, it's a lot of stress. How can you uh, feed your family? And would, by learning in the kolel, are you serious? You have to learn. You have to learn any any profession. Like Said so, Rabbi, I'm going to to learn something in the in the college, and I will learn the rest of the hours. I'm going to learn. The Rabbi called him right away to his office. He said, "Why are you going to to work exactly?" He said, "Rabbi, because I need panasa. I don't know when I get married, and I need to feed my kids, and I don't want to get stuck." He said, who said that you're going to get married? He said, Rabbi, you curse me? For sure, Kadosh Baruch Hu will help me, help me to get married. He said, who said that you're going to have kids? He said, Rabbi, what's wrong with you? Kadosh Baruch Hu, Bezat Hashem, whatever who got, uh, get, uh, get married, he, he have kids. He said, maybe. Maybe your kids are not going to make it. Chas Shalom, something going to happen, and then going to lose your kids, or... I don't know what's going to... He said, Rabbi, what's wrong with you? Why are you so negative today? Without the same, the same will help him to get married, to have kids, to... to everything will be okay. He said, listen to yourself. Believe you in believe in Hashem that you're going to get married. Hashem will find you the good shiduch. And you you're going to have kids. But the small things, the panasah, you don't trust in Hashem. Hashem will give you panasah. That's the problem. We don't believe in Hashem. And we're all, we're all concerned... Listen, if I'm going to go to Israel, you know, while I'm here, 
you know, maybe I should travel and um, go do Aliyah. No, but it's very hot Parnassah in Israel. Rega, <laughs> you think that, and I'm telling to myself all the time, you think that, that Hashem, you have, you have any, any, any kind of different if you live here, if you live in Israel? Hashem give you a life. Hashem give you a beautiful wife, beautiful kids, beautiful family, and He give you Parnassah. And that small things, the Parnassah, we all concern about. We all, all the time, worry about Ara Michael al Kalkala. I'm going to go there, I'm going to go there, what's going to happen, I'm going to buy an apartment, I'm going to buy a house, I'm going to buy a car, I'm going to provide my... Always we worry about the, 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 the future. That's Am Yisrael. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, don't want them to think, I can give you mana for 2,000 years, for 40 years, you know what? But and then, You see a lot of people who won the lottery, or got a lot of uh, money, million people, they don't come to school anymore. If you have $10 million, you can come to Shul? Mm -hmm. I will not come. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But that's why Hashem is not, is not give me, give it to me, right? Why are we coming to Shul? Why you see only the struggle when people come to Shul? Come for Shul Torah. Because they need some uh, salvation, they need some Yeshua, they want to elevate their life. But those people who are very busy, and they forgot who make them busy. Who make you busy? You don't want to see Hashem. So sometimes Hashem take the Parnassah from us and make us in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a situation in life that we are struggling to raise our eyes. Hashem, I, I can't believe it. You see, I don't have Shlom Bayit. Hashem, help me to have Shlom Bayit. Ah, now you understand that I'm making you Shlom Bayit. It's not because of you. You have Shlom Bayit. Your wife, she's going crazy, not because of uh, she likes you, not she likes... Because of me, I'm, when Hashem is turning His face away from us, and then we are raising our eyes, and then we believe in Hashem. Hashem give us panasa, and then take the panasa. No, I can show you. Even you are certificate, you have knowledge, you have skills. Nobody in the world will take you to uh, to uh, uh, for job. But you see other people who barely know how to read and write. They they never went to college, and they, they make so much money. You see the lo chachamim lechem. It's not the, the bread is not just for a wise people. Hashem is given the parnasa. That's why I'm Israel. Hashem wants to train them every day. I give you the man every day. And if those people who used to collect more, those people who used to collect more than one one mana for their family, whatever they, they need for the same day, in the morning they look at this, oh smell they couldn't even eat it. Why? Oh, you don't trust me you're going to have money to do this morning. Right? That's why they start to complain. Hashem, we can't, we can't. Leave us alone. We don't want to train our seven emuna. We want to have quiet. I would like to have an amount of salary that I know that I'm quiet all the month. I don't want to get a salary every day and be worried about it. That's why the, the Rabbi Lupian used to say about those taxi driver. They have emunah more than anybody, Lama. Because they, oh, those Uber driver today, mm -hmm. right, and the Uber driver, because you're driving and you don't know who is going to come, who is going to call you, who you need to ride. Sometimes you go in and you have busy days. Sometimes you go in, you spend a few hours and uh, you have nothing, right? Because well, you have to train your emunah. Hashem, give it panasa. Hashem, help me. Hashem, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to follow the way of the Torah. I'm going to keep myself. Uh, I'm going to put filling. I'm going to keep kashrut. I'm going to keep Shabbat. Shabbat is the panasa. Hashem, Shabbat is the, the blessing. Uh, but if we have, but sometimes Hashem, give us money. And give us good panasa. Yeah, Shabbat, you know, yeah, I can eat outside, I can I keep kasut, I can I, can I have the mishpacha, I can do whatever mm -hmm. I want. Mm -hmm. When we got trouble, Hashem wants to keep us on track, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not because Hashem doesn't love you, Hashem wants to keep us on track. Some of the people, Hashem let them do whatever they want, chaz shalom. Hashem, But this is the point, this is the message. The mana, Am Yisrael start to complain, zacharnu tadagash, shenuchal b'mitzrayim chinam, when Hashem provides you so much, and then you start to imagine, imagine, and, and complain about stuff that you don't need. Hashem, what did Hashem didn't give? Rashi said, what is Hashem? Why Hashem didn't give him the onion and the watermelon? Because the onion and watermelon, they, they, make, they make a stomach ache. And Hashem don't, doesn't want the babies and the people to suffer and to have problem in their stomach. And the desert, imagine what's going to happen if they have a... a Problem in their stomach. 
the manna used to absorb in their body and they never used to go to the bathroom. So exactly what Hashem doesn't want to give them, this is the things that they miss. This is exactly why they don't want to give it to you. So that's why when Hashem sees that somebody complaining, which means that you don't appreciate what Hashem gives you, so whatever you got, I'm going to take it from you. And then you I will see. Sometimes we don't appreciate. And then also, we don't appreciate our wife. We don't appreciate our kids. Only when something happened, oh, oh, I can't believe I'm going to lose my kids. Oh, now you appreciate? I'm going to lose my husband. I'm going to lose my, my job. Oh, now you appreciate. Now you're making effort to, to make it happen. Don't lose it, right? But you, when you have it, take it for granted. But there is another reason why the Kadosh Baruch Hu did it with the manna. Lama? בלתי אל המן איננו ואתה נפשנו זכרנו אשר נאכל דה מצרים חינם אומר אנשי חינם מן המצוות What was the problem with the manna? You know what's the problem? Because the manna used to remind them and show them in the mirror if they are צדיקים או חס ושלום רשעים או בינוניים which level in עבודת השם Why? The Torah said שתו העם ולקטו ותחנו ברחיים those people who were ashamed to wake up in the morning, Reuven wake up in the morning, where is the manna? I don't know, no, the manna is not here. You have to go a different neighbor and go very far away. Ah, but how you got your manna in your house? Because I, we are in the neighbor at Sadiqim. But why you take, uh, got the manna 100 meters in, uh, in front of your house? Because we are the Benonim, we are in the middle. Mm-hmm. But you have to go far away and everybody look at you, look at this Reuven. He's going, oh, where's the Bushot? I'm embarrassed. Everybody knows that I'm Rasha, that I'm, that I'm doing Averot in my house. This is every day. They couldn't face it. Every day, imagine, every, all the neighbors and all the community knows that you're doing Averot in your house. This man, we can't we can face it. We want to live our life. Do whatever we want. We don't want you in our life all the time. That's why they used to complain. And those people who were benonim, they used to take the manna. They came back home. They want to eat. Oh, it's so hard. We have to grain it. Oh, now I don't have a grainer because I used to get it. <laughs> Two months ago, I used to get it in front of my house. I used to eat it right away. Those tzadikim, they used to eat it right away. It was uh, already cooked. Those people who are not tzaddikim used to grain it. Now I don't have a grain it. Oh no. I have to knock on, on the door, somebody's door. You have a grain it? Oh, what do you need grain it? You are the rabbi. I'm sorry, but I did, uh, I did Lashon Ara yesterday. So that's why I'm, I did Avera. Or I, uh, I did other Averot. Or I didn't say Berkat Amazon yesterday. I didn't pray. I didn't put fill in. So that's why, oh, so you have to go. No, I don't have a grain. I don't have this machine. You have to go to another neighbor, another neighbor. That everybody knows that you did Avera last night. That's why they couldn't face it. That's why the manna used to remind themselves who you are. Sometimes we don't want to show everybody. We used to pretend everybody has masks. Yeah, I'm doing whatever I want in my private on, by in my, my private house, but nobody knows. But the manna used to train him. It was a training. For 40 years, training, I'm going to train you. It's not enough just to talk about them on how you should be a believer in Hashem. I want to see how you, you believe, how much you believe in Hashem, and how much you live with HaKadosh Baruch Hu every day. Right? A lot of people say, yeah, I believe in Hashem. When it comes to Parnasa, we forget in Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You, you, Somebody you, came you to the Chafetz Chaim. Yeah, you doubt it. Somebody came to the Chafetz Chaim and he said, Rabbi, I have argued with my wife. I'm working seven hours a day, and I'm coming back home at four o'clock. And my wife said that I have to take another second job, another three hours. I want to take another three hours in order to make more money. But my wife said, no, five o'clock, you have to come back home, prepare the kids to sleep, and, and help me with the kids and with the dinner. No, or go to Shur Torah, go to Mincha and Arvit, enough. You work seven hours, that's it. And I would like to work another three hours. What do you say, Rabbi? You know what the Chafetz Chaim said? He said, I'm going to tell you another example. There is a person who used to work in the bar. He used to sell in the bar with the one bottle of 
juggle of uh, wine, chavit, yain, right? Used to sell 30 cups of beer every day. That's the, mm. that's the maximum beer that he can, uh, can afford every day. Whatever he finished, day later he filled it up again, 30. And this person, his wife approached to him. He said, Mikey, what don't you think that you can make more money? He said, why? How can I do it? He said, if you open another berez, another uh, mm -hmm. uh, tap, tap, another uh, berez. Um, oh, like the sink. Um, another uh, tap in, inside the bottle, you can, you can put four of them, and then everybody you can serve more cups, and then you can make double. Four times 30, how much is it? 120, and then you can make more money. His husband, her husband look at her, are you serious? This amount of, of beer that I have inside the bottle, mm -hmm. right? That's enough for 30. It doesn't matter how much tops I'm gonna connect. Yeah, they're still gonna be this, the is, same. this is what I, it's the exceedingly, okay? You can take more than that. The same thing the Chaim said, HaKadosh Baruch give you Parnasa, right? This amount of money you're going to make this year. This amount of money you're going to make this month. You think that you, you will make more money by working th another three hours? This is, is, you think that you're going to try to find another kind of jobs and, uh, or places to work or another second job, you're going to make more money? No, you're doing your ishtadlut. But what about Mincha? What about Arvid? What about Shiur Torah? It's exactly opposite. The Gemara said, Kol ha'osek b'Torah nechasa matzlichim. The rabbi asks you, come for Shiur Torah. No, I gotta go. No, I gotta go. No, I'm busy. Who make you busy? You don't know that this hour that you spend for Shiur Torah, he make you blessing for you, Parnasa. You don't see it. You don't feel it. You don't know it. Even five minutes. It's the Shacharit. Five minutes after the Mincha and Arvid. Listen to Shiur Torah. Every, all the time when I, I see people, when I start to talk, they went outside. Even the five minute halacha between Mincha and Arvid, they gotta go outside. They can't. Uh, but they told you, Rabbi, I gotta go at 8 o'clock, I gotta go to work. You see, 15 minutes outside he's talking. But what about Shir Torah? So, somebody sent me yesterday a story about the Ramoshim Fashtin. And he asked him, they used to be the biggest Pusik 30 years ago in, in, in Brooklyn. And somebody asked him, Rabbi, how come the five synagogues in, in New York become a church? After so many years, that the people used to, to, to pray there, Shachrit, Mincha, and Arvit. And then after a while, the community start to, you know, to, to go away. They sell the property, make it a church. How come? Where is the tefillot? You know what, what he said? He said there is no Shure Torah. The synagogue, the community that they don't have Shure Torah, they just come to pray. They pray also, the going can pray. You don't connect to the Torah. So what are you Jewish all about? What is the Judaism all about? What do you connect to any, anything? How much you can work? How much you can, you can eat? How much you can travel? How can you have fun? But what about spirituality for you, Neshama? It's not just for rabbis to learn Torah. It's for each one of us. And we have an opportunity all, all around us. Imagine 50 years ago, they didn't have, a, a, have a books. They have a books like very small letters and they couldn't barely learn. And everybody used to learn. Everybody used to know the, the Parashat Shavua. Everybody used to know all the halachot. But today, how many people, they have all the halachot. They have all the apps. They have YouTube. Rabbis all over. You can, you drive in, you're making an Uber. You, 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 you in at work or you're working at home or whatever. You can put lecture. You can listen to Shura Torah. This will give you more panasa. You can train yourself in emunah, chazek. This is the tools of emunah. This is the tools for your life. Who can, who can make, who can pass this life without emunah? You have problem with your wife. Without emunah, you're gonna fight. You're gonna scream. You're gonna act like an animal, right? You have problem with your kids. You have health problem. You have financial problem. Any problem without emunah? If you don't believe that Hashem is making the best for you and Hashem will take care of you, don't worry about it. No, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Israel, I'm going to go to this job, I'm going to go to this place, I'm going to do, I'm going to lose my house, I'm going to lose my... We always worry, right? How I'm going to pay this bill, I'm going to do that. But we, we read in the Parashat Shavua every year over and over again. All the Parashiyot give us the tools. We talk about before, 
about the Torah, how much we light in our candles, we light in our neshama. People come only when they have a skara, memorial day for their parents, for his father. What about your neshama? What about Lilun your neshama? Yeah, how much you spend time for Akados Baruch Hu, you see how much Hashem gives us. Well, we're running away from Hashem. Vaisum, Vaisum, Me'ar Sinai, Me'ar Hashem. Rashi said, Ketinoka Borech, in Beit HaSefer, Am Yisrael, run away from Sinai, we can't be with Hashem. We can't be, we can't see Hashem, all of us, around us. Come on, Rabbi, it's too much. Kfiyad Atit. Rabbi, give me to breathe. I need to breathe, to go to the bar, to go to the movie, to go to that, to go, right? We can't, we can't stay in the scene. Okay, Rabbi, when you finish the shield, when you finish, let's get out of here, right? He's going outside and he play with his phone two hours. He's watching a movie from, that's, 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 that's all about. What is that, Kadosh Baruch Hashem make you busy? So give to the Hashem, Kadosh Baruch one hour to learn Torah. One hour a week to come for shield Torah, for, for, for Minyan. For what about to listen to Sefer Torah for Shabbat to come? People come on Shabbat for one hour to eat the Hamin, and that's it. What about your kids? What about yourself? We're always running about something, running about our pleasure, we're running about our, our, our uh, satisfaction and happiness, and we're not happy. We're always stressed. We're always uh, uh, frustrated. We're always uh, have problems. But if we connect to the Torah, connect to Emunah to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, this is the Emunah and Bitachon. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu give us in this situation in life, over and over again, I thought that I have Emunah. My daughter, I have two daughters, one of them, I named Emunah. Mm. And the second uh, daughter, Temima, Emunah Temima, to train myself. Even whenever I said to my, my wife, whenever I got any trouble, any problems in my life, this is Emunah. What, what about Emunah? Where is Emunah? She's sleeping in Emunah. Oh, my Emunah sleeping? My Bitachon, my Temima? To be naive with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to close your eyes, Hashem, I know that you're taking care of me. Help me to show me what do you want from me. What is this message? When your wife screaming at you, it's not your wife. When you have problem with Panasai, it's not the problem. It's a problem in yourself. You know what's the problem. You know what's the holes that you make into yourself. The Gemara said, "Le'olam lo ra'iti tzvi kayat vechamor sabal veari sabal." I never saw a donkey or a fox working in the marking in the marking place, right? Mm -hmm. In the grocery store, I never saw any 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 lion working in a moving company. How they got with their parnasa for years? How they provide parnasa? How Hashem give us parnasa? The animals, if the animals Hashem create them to serve the 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 us. And Hashem given Panasah, so we created by to serve Akadosh Baruch Hu, and Hashem is not taking care of you. Right? Mm -hmm. For sure Hashem won't take care of you. But Hashem give us the Panasah, sometimes Hashem put us in the corner to look, look at me. Stop to complain. I said to people, st uh, uh, try it for one week, not to complain. You see, salvation coming right away. I'm not complaining. I'm not every uh, somebody asks you, how are you? Oh, Look, I have a problem with my wife, I have a problem with my kids, I have a problem with my community, I have a problem with my boss, I have a problem at work. I, I'm not feeling... What? What? You don't see? I'm talking to myself. You don't see how much Hashem gives you? Just the fact that you're standing on your own and you can be able to, to go to the bathroom and you can eat, you can function, you can smile, you can drive. You see how many people suffering all over the world? You see what's going on in the world? You have no guarantee for anybody. You see how many people die now? Chas v'shalom, tzarot, troubles, real troubles. But we got small problems and we're complaining. The Zohar Kadosh said, if somebody is complaining, he's bringing and he's pulling all the negative things in the world and make it worse. But if somebody is a gratitude, gratitude to Akadosh Baruch who is a grateful, he said, thank you. Even it's hard for me. It's thank you, Hashem. Bo she'arav betodah. The Zohar Kadosh said in this Pasuk of Tehillim. But David HaMelech said, Bo she'arav betodah. If you want to open the salvation of, of uh, the gates of salvation, Bo she'arav, the gates of salvation, betodah, when you say thank you. But how can you say thank you? That my wife coming in the morning scream at me? How can I say thank you that my kids, they barely know how to... to to keep Shabbat. What I'm going to say thank you. Did I have problem with my panasa? Yes. Say thank you. So I told it to somebody. That this is Gula. Somebody get in trouble. 
any trouble, got a problem with immigration, police giving him a report, say thank you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, say thank you. And you see that something's going to happen. So I told this somebody, he got catched by the, by the police officer. And the, the police opened and opened and went open the window, pull up, pull over. He said, thank you, Toda Rabbi Hashem, Toda Rabbi Hashem, Hashem, thank you, thank you that he catch me. And he got a ticket. He said, Rabbi, you see this gula is not working. I said, Tipesh. this gula is working not just by saying thank you. You have to feel it. To feel gratitude. Hashem, this is the best for me. Why? Because I have a munai and I know it could be worse. It's an accident. It could be worse. Exactly. Hashem saved your life. Hashem saved you by this 120 or by this 50 or whatever, 300. To lose your car, to lose your, your life, or to be in a hospital for two weeks. So when we got, Asha, I can't believe I lost my job. How can I say thank you? Say thank you to Hashem. Hashem wants to, to give you two weeks to think about yourself and to get another a better job, a better shiduch. Why? But I want this girl. I can't believe she break, break, break up on me. Uh, what can I do? I can't. And that's why we always got trouble until we get in the emunah. And I thought all my life that I have Emunah, and every year I'm going to another lesson. Another, like what? Hashem, what do you want for me? Hashem, what do you want for me? And I need to close my eyes and talk to my wife, another. No, we have to listen, to learn. This is another challenge. It's another training. It's another curse. Well, how many curses? All my life. All my life. Dech Emunah Bacharti. David HaMelech said, David HaMelech teaches so much about Emunah. And all the parshiot talk about Emunah. And all our life is all about Emunah and Bitachon. And we see Am Yisrael, they saw Kadosh Baruch Hu in their eyes. They saw the open ocean. They saw all the plagues in Egypt. They saw Kadosh Baruch Hu. People think, Hashem, if you show me a miracle, I will, be, I will do Teshuvah. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if Hashem show you a miracle. Hashem give you a miracle every day by you. Wake up, wake up in the morning, this is a miracle because you not deserve it. You know what you do, uh, how much you're missing? You, mean, you know what, uh, how your Shabbat look like? You know how your Kashrut look like? You know how Ta'at HaMishpacha look like? You know it, you know it by the laws of the Torah, Chas Shalom. You know the Diskaret, Nida Diskaret, you know the Shabbat Diskaret, you know the Skila, you know that's... You not deserve it. Hashem give you. Hashem forgive you. Hashem loves you so much. Hashem wants to give us all the abundance in the world. But we close our eyes and we stubborn to stubborn because by the Yetzirah. So if you want to survive this life, if you would like to get all the abundance in the Shefa, the Parnasa, especially the Parnasa, that this is by breathing. This is the something that we need all the time. Kasha Parnasa to Shalom Kekirati Asu because Hashem wants to you to raise your eyes. I give you upon a sign. I will show you that you're depending on me. I will write a check only 100 a day. I can give you 1 million a day. You don't believe that Hashem can, can give you $20,000 a, a, a month? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's hard for Kadosh Baruch to give us 100000 a month? It's so easy. Why give those people billion, uh, uh, billion of people? Why? You see somebody just did Aliyah. One of the, the, the milliardarim, he did Aliyah to Eretz Israel, 13 and a half billion dollar. Can't even imagine how much money. You see how many people suffering and, and, and struggling. All, he can provide all the Israel people for 20 years. What do you have to do with all this money? What about all those people learning Torah, all those people uh, with the, all those people struggling? But those people get close more to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Those people who have money, they need to make effort to get close to Hashem because we tend to forget whatever we got. You see people who got six, six, successful in life, they're not coming to Shul anymore. They don't call the Rabbi anymore. The Rabbi have problem with the Shlom Bait. The people who have Shlom Bait, they come to the Rabbi. They got trouble with the, any trouble, they come to the Rabbi. Come to Shul. Rabbi, pray for me. Pray for my daughter. Please pray for my, my aunt, uncle. Pray for my father. But where, where are you for two, 10 years? Where were you all this year? You didn't even come from Menchai Navit one time. You didn't even come for Shul Torah. This is what gives you a, the maintenance for your life. This is give you a blessing. 
We run away from the blessing. Hashem, Am Yisrael, run away from the blessing. It's too much for us. How Sinai, the mountain of Sinai, the, the Ten Commandments, this Torah, wow, we say now seven Ishma, but we realize that it's too much. Right? It's too much. Sometimes we want to get some break. Let's go to South Beach to a bar. Let's go have fun. Right? That's it. We're trying to run away from Hashem. And then we ask Hashem, where are you? So what we decide to be with close to Akadosh Baruch Hu, to run away. If we run away, so don't be surprised. That's why we learn from this parasha. First of all, how to know and to internalize to our life that Hashem is the only one to give us parasha. And Hashem wants us to, to, to train ourselves with the Munah and bitachon to trust HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And Hashem can give us all what we need, right, immediately. But He wants us to be close to Him. To know how to pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Open your mouth, say Tehilim every day. Pray for your health, for your happiness. Pray for your husband. Pray for your ha ha uh, wife. Pray for your kids, for, for yourself, because there's no guarantee to anybody. Even somebody, a rich guy, approached to me and said, Rabbi, I have so much money. What should I come and pray for Panasa? Why? I have so much buildings and, and uh, houses and properties. I have enough panasa for, uh, for my kids and my grand, 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 grandkids. I said, Hashem, there's no guarantee for anybody. Hashem can take it any, any second. And also you should, you should be able to pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu to give you to see and to enjoy this money. Some of the people, they have, they have all, all, just troubles all the time. They have, look at... I know a person that is driving a 95 years uh, um, Toyota mm -hmm. and he's look like, uh, I don't know what, he have, he, he, Hashem, he didn't give him the opportunity to enjoy his money even. So we need to ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu to give us a calm life and to train us with the Munah. Hashem, help me to believe in you. Hashem, help me to elevate my, 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 myself because otherwise, without him, we're getting upset, we're getting arrogant, we scream at people, we talk against the people. We think that by talking against this person and this person, I can get more, uh, people will more appreciate me, appreciate right? Me. I'm better than him. Well, he's just such a bad person. He's such a bad uh, uh, Don't trust in him. Don't take from him. Don't uh, make a business with him. Be, be, make a business with me. No, it's exactly opposite. You're talking against the people, you're talking uh, against yourself. Panasai is by Kadosh Baruch Hu. And if we follow the Torah, and we train ourselves with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and we believe in Hashem, that Hashem is the only one to give us Parnasa, and most than anything, it's stop to complain. It's try it. We're going to see here, we're going to be here with Hashem next week, and try it. You try it for one week not to complain. Your wife told you, how are you? The best. Your boss telling you, how are you? I have the best job, the best place, the best community, the best neighbor, the best house, the best wife, best kids, everything is perfect. Dvash. Awesome. To do bomb, akol v'seder. Akol v'seder, Rabbi. When we will be say, we train ourselves by Amuna, and not just to say thank you to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and to believe in that, that Hashem is the only one to give us the best for us. But you say thank you, even you got trouble. Hashem, to Rabbi, I need to leave my house in a few days. Hashem, to Rabbi, that I'm struggling financially. Hashem, to Rabbi, that I got trouble with my wife because my wife eh, 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 show me how much I need to get close to you. Because it's not my wife, it's you screaming at me. It's not my kids, it's not my boss. You screaming at me. Hashem, thank you that you sent me this message through my boss, through my wife, through my kids, through my, my, my health. Other people, they don't get this message. Hashem, because you love me. But you say thank you and you don't complain. You believe in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem will give us Bezat Hashem. Amen. 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 Amen.